Good day, YouTube, and uh, thank you for uh, tuning in to start talk about gay issues. Uh, my name is uh, Mike Connors, uh, and I hail from New Brunswick, Canada. Um, and as promised, it's been a while since we talked, uh, as I've been really busy uh, with a whole bunch of other stuff. But I'm very pleased that I'm able to have a chat with you today. Um, a couple of things I wanted to cover for uh, straight talk about gay issues was uh, namely um, the uh, recent conservative convention in Ottawa where the conservative party which is the uh, governing party here in Canada decided that they weren't going to um, entrench uh, their opposition to uh, same-sex marriage but rather they would encourage uh, within their party to uh, to have marriage between one woman and one man. So not exactly earth-shattering news, but it's still something that we have to keep on the radar, our radar screen and not allow our guard to be down, because it definitely can be an issue in the next four years, although we hopefully we'll see it coming, but it's quite possible that um, it may get slipped in through the back door. So we have to be vigilant. We have to keep watching and listening and hearing what's being said. The other thing I want to talk to you about is um, if you happen to be gay, if you're either a teen or or you're an older adult and you're not sure where to turn, um, there are a few options um, such as PFLAG Canada, which is a national organization that offers support and, and guidance um, to gay, lesbians, bisexuals, transgender, and intersex persons. Um, the neat thing about them is they also offer support to uh, allies of, of uh, gays and lesbians, and bisexuals, transgenders, and intersex people as well. Uh, so if you're a parent that thinks that your child may be gay, if you're a teacher that thinks that you may have a student, uh, that is gay, or no matter who you are, if if you're a minister that is gay friendly and you think that there might be someone in your congregation congregation that is gay, then that is the place to go. Um, if you want to check out their website, by the way, it's pflagcanada.ca. That's pflagcanada.ca. They also have a one eight hundred number listed. Um, if you're interested in giving them a call, they have um, twenty four hour uh, toll-free line that you can call if you have any questions or concerns in reference to gay issues please feel free to give them a call and uh, as we're saying they man their phones 24 hours a day and I'm sure you can get your answers there um, I've been talking we just got done the International Day Against Homophobia May 17th and we are in the planning stages for uh, International Day Against Homophobia coming up in 2011 which obviously is May 17th so I would ask that you please put that on your calendar and plan to attend. There was a small turnout last time. We're hoping to increase that number uh, in 2011. So I'm asking you all to put it on your calendar and make a conscious effort to attend. It's important. And right now we don't know how important, but I'm sure it's going to be important as we trudge on uh, to try to defend our, uh, our rights in mainstream heterosexual society. So that's where we're at. Um, if you have any questions in reference to gay issues, uh, who you can talk to, where you can go, stuff like that, please feel free to leave a comment uh, underneath uh, in the feedback section and I'll definitely try to answer your question here or if it's in private that's fine as well. I will definitely try to answer your questions for you. Uh, the other thing that you have to know or that you should know is that PFLAG Canada has chapters throughout Canada and they also have, if they don't have a chapter, they have a contact uh, in most areas. Uh, I'm very proud to say that I'm actually the contact from Air Machine area. I cover from here up to up towards Bathurst, down towards Trachety, and in the opposite direction towards uh, Moncton. So. Um, I am listed in the phone book. If you go to the website, you'll notice that, that my number is listed. And um, obviously, if you just need a listening ear, we can't provide counseling per se, but we can uh, be a friendly ear that will listen and give you some advice on what we would do. 
So um, thank you everyone for tuning in to Straight Talk about gay issues. I'll hopefully be back again next week. And uh, like once again, if you have any questions, please feel free to either uh, let me know here on YouTube or on Facebook, and I'll definitely try to answer your questions. Anyway, hopefully everyone has a great weekend, and we will talk to you very soon. Thanks a lot, everyone.